Hello there. This is Dr. Jingjing Ling. Um, today, I would like to actually share with you guys um, some uh, um, insight into the workflow of seeking relevant literature um, from Scopus. And then after you found the relevant literature, um, how you can import it into your local or online reference management software, and how you can uh, synchronize between um, your reference management software, such as Zotello, that's what I use, uh, how to synchronize uh, Zotello with uh, Notion. That's uh, one um, very famous note-taking tool that I have been using after Evernote. Let's start. So um, first, I am going to show you um, some basic uh, literature searching uh, workflow. So first, uh, you have to identify one academic database that is quite commonly used, commonly used by your domain. For instance, I use Scopus uh, quite a lot. So in this presentation, I am going to use Scopus to demonstrate. And the second step is on um, Scopus, you use the um, keywords and uh, search in different positions of um, publications such as title, keyword, abstract, full text, um, etc. In this demonstration, I will only search keywords in title. And the keyword I'm going to use is research literacy. The third step is to use some innate integrated filters on Scopus to get an overview of the returned results of the um, literature you found using the keywords you just used. Okay, so um, these filters will help you to um, briefly include and exclude some literature from the results. And the fourth step is to read the titles and abstracts carefully and uh, um, further include and exclude literature from the results. And Scopus has this function of adding um, your interested literature to a temporary list. Um, so I usually um, just add those included literature to a list then um, later on the list page, I can um, export all of them to one file in the local disk. So when I save that um, list as a local file, I usually save um, the, the records as a bibtex uh, file, and then I will import the bibtex uh, file into my reference management software, uh, which is Zotello. And uh, after the records got, got um, imported into the Zotero, I usually clean up the formats um, a little bit because um, the export, export formats of these references uh, are not often correct. Uh, are not usually, you know, sometimes uh, um, they, miss up, they mess up with the um, publication type from a book chapter to journal article. So you have to correct this small details. And um, Zotero has this function of searching for full text PDF files. So that's what I do. And after that, if there are some missing PDF files, I will um, use the DOI um, URL to search in sci-hub.ee website to add those missing PDF files. So this is just a brief introduction of all this um, in total nine steps. I am going to also visually present uh, to you um, in, the, in the coming minutes. So um, anyway, for this demonstration, that is forthcoming, I am going to use Scopus as the academic database and the Zotero as my reference management software. And I will use Notion, uh, which is another um, note-taking application that I have been experimenting with. 
uh, in previous videos, I talked about that the custom method and uh, I used um, Evernote um, droplin and uh, um, Obsidian, uh, all kinds of tools to kind of uh, try to look for um, more suitable tools for myself. And Notion is one recent attempt. Okay, so in this demonstration, I will also use browser Chrome and to open websites that will be uh, interesting for you to bookmark. So let's begin. I will um, close this this one and I will open the Chrome. So as I said that um, I will use the Scopus and I will select here the article title and uh, um, I will use oh I will use the um, let me go to the English typing okay I will use this quality mark and I will type research literature um, I use quote um, mark because if you don't then then the Scopus will search uh, research plus literature uh, sometimes uh, these two words can be separated in the article title. They are not connected as one one term. But here I want to um, look for look in look for uh, research literature as a whole term in an um, article title of the whole database. Okay, so I will click search. And you will see it returns 792. Oh, sorry. Uh, here, my bad. It's not research literature. It is li literacy. Okay, so search. Um, it returned 72 documents. And you can see from the left here the filters. It shows you. Um, different filters you can use. For instance, uh, you can see year, uh, view all, to see the distribution of these results by year. So you can see the earliest is 1996, and the recent one is in 2022. And you can see author name, see who are, who are most uh, um, active in um, publishing on this topic. And you can also have a subject area and here you can always click view all to see a whole list. And here I'm only interested in social science, arts, humanities, and psychology. So I will just click limit two. So you can see now it only has 43 documents um, remain, remained. And uh, here you can also sort by article, um, by you know different type of document. Uh, let's say we are interested in all of them, so we will leave it as how it is. And uh, you can also see all other kind of, for instance, um, um, source title filter allows you to see um, what are the most uh, active um, outlets for these topics publications. So here the, the most active one is research literacies and writing pedagogies for masters and doctoral writers. This is actually a book. Okay. And so after all this, we will just click um, here. Also, the, all the filters I already applied. And so now let's go to uh, the next step, which is is um, browse through the title and the view, uh, also the abstract. So this two, you are going to skim um, the content in these two parts, and you're going to understand is this uh, literature relevant to what I want to study? Um, if no, you just skip it. If yes, you click one, uh, you click on this checkbox. So um, to make it um, easier, there are two tricks, um, two tips. One is to show all abstracts. So you have all the uh, abstracts already um, displayed on the page. And uh, because I am Chinese and I always prefer reading in my um, mother tongue, so I have this translate to Chinese 
um, it will help you to um, faster uh, the reading speed. So uh, you can always have this Google Translate plugin um, installed uh, on your Chrome, and that will be um, very helpful to read the um, page content in your mother tongue. So let's say I read all this already, and I'm going to, for instance, add this one, this one, this one, just to demonstrate to you. Okay, so I'm going to change back to English and I'm going to click export. But before that, um, be careful here. Um, if you find all the records relevant, you can just select all. You can either select all of the records or select page. Okay, if you select page, it will be only this page of content to be included. Um, if you select all, it will be all pages. Okay, so here I don't select this one because I I already, for instance, go through them and decided to include this three. Now I'm going to click export. I always prefer using um, be the text. I will click all of them and I click export. There you are. You have a beep file downloaded in your local. Um, in your local disk, uh, but be, uh, because I already have one actually downloaded this morning, so I will just delete this demonstration file and keep the real data I, I exported uh, this morning after filtering all those uh, 43 document results, uh, titles, and abstracts. So now we have one um, Scopus bib file in our downloads. Um, what I can do now is I open the Zotero, which is my favorite reference management um, software. Now I can do is to click file and import and uh, choose a file and click next. And I will go to the downloads. I will select Scopus. Open. I will say I will check this one so that it will be uh, it will save this record in a separate folder under my library. Okay, so set it as a default and go next. Now it's importing all the files. And you can see that it's saving here. Uh, it says 30 items were imported. Let's finish. So this is what you have imported using the bib file. Okay. Uh, so let's use this as example. Now what we can do is to search for the uh, full text PDF file. So you select all and right click select find available pdfs see this pop out window is showing the progress of finding available pdfs for all these 30 references so the cross in red color shows okay this pdf was not found by this search if it is actually a green tick it means the full text has been identified and downloaded and matched to your reference already so let's wait for this uh, process to finish. So during this process, you will see um, under this attachments column, uh, the icon of PDF file um, is displayed one after another. And that means uh, uh, this record has a PDF file found and attached. Uh, this one doesn't, for instance. Uh, now you see we are in quite a good progress here. We the tool couldn't find several um, full text, but um, we were we are going to use um, sidehub.ee website to uh, fill in the gap of those missing files. Okay, so here it says um, 12 PDFs added. That's close. And now what we can do 
um, um, is to first sort all those um, all these thirty um, files uh, records and see um, if the record um, format is if the reference um, format is correct. So to check this, um, for instance, you can right click the record and uh, um, click view online. Okay, so this record shows it is a book. Let's see if it is a book. So it is actually a book chapter. Okay, so we return here and change it to a book section. It says you are going to lose the. Um, see, after changing the type, you actually need to. Um, Refill in the content. So the book is this one. Okay, so go back to the title, book title. Page is 53 to 70. Pages here. Okay. Um, so it's very important to correct this because later when you quote them. Um, if it's a mistake, then um, your reference list will be a mess. So this is just to demonstrate how you can correct the format of array uh, records here. I will not go uh, one after another because I have done it in this project uh, this morning. So this is only to demonstrate how you can do it. Okay. So now how to find the missing um, PDF. So let's click one and it says it's a journal article. It must have a DOI. So let's just uh, um, click it and it will highlight this DOI. You just control copy and we were going to on uh, sitehub.ee here, okay? And you enter here, paste the DOI here, and you click open, and it will give you the full text PDF. You just download it. And I usually use the year and the, the first family name um, of the first author. So it's best, best, Okay, so I will um, just click save. And now if I go back to Zotero, I am going to right click this record, add attachment, attach a store copy of file, and then I will choose the one I just downloaded. There you go. So now you have the PDF file already actually um, attached to this reference, okay? So you can do all kinds of things with this. You can highlight it. Uh, if you uh, actually, if you actually close it and you went back to it, you will see all the annotation you just made still safe here. You can also do like a note here, write anything. Okay, so it, this is only just for reading, okay, for reading this reference. But the point is that you attach the file to the reference, the PDF file. So you keep your reference and uh, full text PDF file all together in one place. So you can do annotation by opening in uh, Zotero. Then I have to jump around. Okay, so after you sort out all these things, add all the PDF files and correct all the formats of the um, um, your references, uh, you're going to have a list like this, for instance. Okay, so our example is here. Now I am going to show you. Uh, let me go back to this step flow. We have went through all this. And we are going to now, oh, I'm now going to show you um, how to actually map uh, the database in Notion uh, to the um, Zotero 
uh, library folder here. Okay, so um, I already created the link this morning, so I will just fast show you um, once it's done what it is like. Okay, so um, I created a full page table here. So all these records, it's just a table of different properties that list uh, the, the reference records detail, such as the name, the item type, uh, reading status, and title of the publication, authors, um, year, DOI, UIL, the title URI, full citation, in-text citation, until here, um, the data you see here, uh, exclude, ex excluding item type and the reading status, all these um, columns you see that are filled with uh, values, they are actually automatically pulled in from Zotero. So um, this, this database is actually uh, linked with this folder under my library. So if now I add a new uh, citation um, to this um, folder, it will be automatically updated to my Notion table. So let me give you a fast uh, demonstration. Let's go to Google Scholar and uh, uh, just pick one. And I will import this to um, to my to my Zotero um, libraries, I will save here. This is the uh, yeah. This is the plugin of um, Zotero on Chrome, so you can just um, uh, click the button and it will be saved. See, saving item to Notion. So first, you send the data to to Zotero um, to Zotero library folder. You will see here. This is the new record and. Earlier, you see that um, floating window here. It says the record has been synchronized to Notion. So the author is Gupta and Gupta. Let's go here. Where is Gupta? See, Gupta and Gupta, right? So you see this record was actually just freshly um, updated from Zotero to uh, Notion. And that's what we want to achieve um, here. So, um, because when you use Zetto Custom system to do note taking um, in whatever tool you, you choose, um, you have to quote um, the literature in order to take note. So, um, with record, automatically uh, with the reference records automatically put in from your reference management software can be very useful because you don't need to jump between the reference management software and your note take taking tool um, everything is automatically synced into your note taking system you just needed to quote the record that was synced okay so I'm going to show you how you can do uh, do this bridging between um, Notion and uh, Zotero. So first, uh, in order to achieve that, you are going to need a tool um, that needs to be installed uh, installed in Zotero. So if you click a tools here and click add-ons you're going to see that i have no tarot, um plugin uh, and an extension has already been actually added to my um Zotero. so if you click here more um, you can see this extension on github i will click here so this is the page that you're going to uh, find the um um, extension no tello for bridging um, these uh, two platforms. So I will click code and uh, you can click here download zip um, for instance. 
or there's another um, file format. Let me see. Um, there's another file format uh, which ends with um, XPI. Okay, so now I don't know where to find it, but um, let's go to file, go to file. Back code um, open with okay download zip file but that's a zip file does it work uh, I'm gonna share with you the XPI file later under the description of this video so um, anyway you are going to have a XPI file which you are going to actually um install here so how to install that you just click this wheel button and then uh, you select install add-on from file or oh, actually you can also use the um zip file to install either zip file or xpi file okay then because i already installed that so i will not uh, proceed but then you just click it one and open it will be installed okay so after that uh, you already enable um, Zotero to actually um, pass data to no Notion. Um, but there's another um, configuration you need to do. So after you install the Notero, you have to go here, Tools, click Notero Preferences. Um, here you need to input Integration Token and Database ID. And then you need to select which um, which folder you want the um, updates to be passing to Notion. Here I only um, select uh, OJC project. Okay. So how to get this uh, integration token and database ID? You can click here, read me. So there is very detailed instruction on this page. You can follow actually. Uh, um, basically, you have to first um, uh, obtain a, a token from um, from Notion. Okay, so um, the URL is uh, www.notion.com. My dash integrations. I will put this link on the um, under the video as well. So you click this one. And you basically already created one, but we can click new integration. Let's say test. I'm gonna choose this work um, space and leave everything as default. And as you can see, this is the secret you are going to need. And you're going to copy this one. And uh, um, let's open a text editor, notebook. Okay, so I will save the um, token here. And after this token is created, you have to go to Notion. And here you flash database. Okay, and you choose full page table. Let's give you a name called the test test. And here, you need to um, provide some basic properties in order to pull in the um, value from um, Zotero. So here, proper, um, property name and property type. So we have name, abstract, authors. These are property names, and these are the property type. And you have to put in all these values into your um, Notion table. Okay, we have name already. We have abstract as next. That's also a text. And we are going to add uh, um, another one. UI, which is a URL. And so now I have some basic uh, um, property list it in this table. Now how to actually um, do the next. We're going to actually click share. 
and select this to enable and click here, you're going to see test here. Click, that's the integration um, token we just created. And invite. And now you need to copy this link, okay, that and paste it here. So the remember that we need to input two values um, here. One is integration token, which is this one we just uh, earlier created. One is database ID of the Notion. So here, this is actually the the one and this uh, full string of numbers and letters between the um, slash and the question mark. That is the data data base ID. Okay, ID. And select um, the test of Scopus. Okay, select Scopus as the um, folder to synchronize and then click OK. Now if I actually, oh, come here. So now if I am going to add a new, um, let's say, search literacy. Let's try to pull in another, um, Let's say pull this one, two, three. Okay. So, okay. It goes to Scopus. See? Here. So, it's a saving items to Notion. Okay. So, one has been synchronized here. You know, every time when you pull in new reference to that folder, this database of Notion will be updated as well. When you start taking notes in Notion, after reading, for instance, this one, um, I can go here, for instance, if I open a new page, call it um, Literature 1, and let's say I write, write some notes, and then in the end, I would like to quote this one, and then paste, I select this one. See, now you can link this one, note um, content. And you can link this note to this reference. Okay, so that's how convenient it is. You don't need to worry about um, copying and paste every reference to your Notion and you know quote it manually. Everything is done here automatically. You just need to read the paper in the um, Zotero and. Uh, and uh, do annotations there, and then you will come back to Notion um, just to jot down uh, different notes. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the content today. Oh, it's getting dark. So um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment under the video. Uh, if you have any request to um, to know anything more about this process, you can also. Um, post a comment below and thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video